Coach, now that we're almost done with spring practice, which players have raised their stock the most and why? Uh, <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know me now. Um, oh, man, there's there, there's been a lot of guys. I mean, it's you know, I I've been. Uh, I mean, some of the guys I know just really been impressed with. I mean, Kamari. You know, I mean, he. We got to obviously you know see him last year, but he's he's done a great job. You know, just coming in here, I feel like really you know affected the group. And I mean. He's a really good player. He obviously knows this scheme very well. So just having another guy out there that kind of knows it and has played in it, and you can use as a great example of how a lot of this stuff needs to look. I mean, he's he's really had a, I think he's had a really strong spring. Um, I think Covington's really surged, you know, especially here at the end. Been impressed with some of the things he's done. Uh, you know, the linebacker room as a whole, there's some really good competition, but those guys are really getting better. I think they've really taken to Coach Entz. I feel like that room is really. Uh, has really grown. I mean, I've talked a lot about the defensive line. I mean, that's there's a lot of growth there, and there's needed to be, and everything there is, you know, very, very different. So, um, but certainly progress there. So, um, yeah, off the top of my head, I mean, those are those would be a few of the guys. I mean, there's certainly more. Um, there's been a lot of progress made on the field this spring. Lincoln, have you, have you guys decided on a you know plan for a series? Which quarterback's going to take a series? Not yet. No, not yet. We're, we're going to play a half a ball. Um, We'll rep all three of those guys probably fairly similar to how we've repped them um, in in uh, in spring, which has been uh, you know which has been Miller and, and Jaden and Jake all getting they're certainly getting competitive reps every day. With the portal opening today, do you anticipate any more losses once you guys have already had? You never know, you know. I mean, you know, you just ask me again in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I don't know. You know, I don't think we'll have. I don't think we'll have a lot. Um, maybe that's famous last words, but I, I don't. I don't think that we'll have a whole lot. Team feels pretty steady um, in a lot of ways, but you know, there, there's. I mean, sure, there's going to be guys that are thinking about it. There's guys on every single roster across the country that are, and, and we may have a few, and that's okay that if we do, uh, we know that we've got a couple targets that we need to go after, and, and if uh, if we lose a, f- a few more guys, that may increase those targets. And obviously, you know, we don't want to, but at the same time, if it is, we're going to look at it uh, as an opportunity to make our team better. How do you operate in the spring knowing this guy I'm- – might have it second team exposition yeah. might leave in a couple of days but those are valuable reps yeah we've we've tried to have some pretty proactive conversations i mean you see some of our guys have went in pretty early and and uh and so you know we've told them we're you know guys that aren't you know committed to this thing we're not going to we're not going to rep you in the spring i mean this is these reps aren't you know this isn't like peewee where everybody gets to play i mean these reps are valuable so unless you can fully commit to us in the spring uh, you know, we're not going to give them to you. So, may a couple of guys that, that that are unexpected jump in. They might, and if they do, I, you know, that's part of it. But I think we, for the most part, avoided that. And that a lot of guys that have left, we were able to have those conversations pretty early on. And they're obviously not with us now. And the other guys that need to be getting the reps are getting the reps. We first some good buzz about Anthony Lucas again. We heard it last year too. It didn't fully materialize last fall. What's different with him this year? What gives you more confidence that he actually had that breakout season? Yeah, he's he's. Uh, I, I think he, he's playing so much more physical um, and and more confident. And he made some plays last spring because he's a he's a good, talented athlete. He's making some plays right now that are different than the ones that he made last spring. Um, doing some really good things in the run and pass game. He's he's much more consistent. It's not just like a flash play here and there. Um, so I think he's one of the guys that's really I think taken to the new scheme, the new style up front. I think it's it's really fit. Like what he needed to become as a player, and um, and and so that it's been a, a great move for him personally, and he's handled it well. He's pushing through some things. He's had a couple little nicks here that he's hadn't let stop him. You know, maybe last year, maybe you sit out with it or miss practice, and he just he kind of refused to to do it, um, which has been cool to see. So I think he's growing up, and I think the the scheme and the coaching fit has has been very positive for him. The cornerback position has been a question it seemed like at various points over the past year. How much more confident do you find yourself maybe in that room right now than you have at any point over the past year or two? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we have more. I think we have more experience in that room. We've got a little bit more depth right now. We've got more size. Um, and I think just I'm excited about what we're doing from a schematic point of view, too, you know, because it's 
the, the deal with like corners, it's like that's one of the places if you've got leaks defensively that like you're gonna actually like see the water on the floor a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it's you could have leaks other places, but that's you know in some ways not always. Obviously the safety's involved in it too, but sometimes the last line of defense or the guy that gets left one on one all the time. And so um, we know we've needed to get better there, and I think we have. But also I feel like schematically I, I, I really like what we're doing relative to those guys. What have you seen from Dejan Lafitte in camp? I feel like we haven't heard his name. Yeah, he's he's getting better. Um, he's getting better. It's it's uh, you know he was injured when he first got here. He's been able to really uh, finally kind of get some momentum, get back on the field. He's he he still kind of looks like a true freshman that you see some flashes, and also you can tell that he missed a little bit of time in the fall, and uh, and is is still kind of working back from that. But yeah, some flashes. Good kid, hard worker. Lincoln, when, when, when you guys where's Quentin Quentin Joiner this this spring versus last? Uh, way, way different, way different. Um, you know, he still pops, you know, feels like at least one big play a day, kind of like he did last year. But the, the difference is the, the mental mistakes, uh, the confidence, uh, the playing without the ball, like that has made a – he's made a big, big jump there, uh, which he needed to. And you expect young's ba young backs to be able to do that. So uh, I think he's really taken to Coach Jones. A um, lot of progress, a lot of confidence. I mean – Hard not to imagine him being a big part of our offense this year. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. All right. Thank you all.